Hey TCS TV viewers, it's Dave and Evelyn from the camera store. And today we're talking about the brand new Panasonic Leica 10 to 25 lens. Hey. So we're out in this great provincial park called Big Hill Springs, just northwest of Calgary. And we got a bit of a break in the weather, so it's kind of nice. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get in the foothills. But we're really excited because we finally got our hands on this full production version of this lens. Yeah, now this is a very unique lens. A 10 to 25 gives you the equivalency of 20 to 50 in a full frame camera. But what's more exciting for me is its light gathering ability. It's a constant 1.7 aperture. Yeah, and of course that's really important for depth of field when you're looking at a micro four third system because the look of it is more like an f 3.4 lens. Another thing that's exciting about this lens is they've really built it up with a lot of great lens elements that prevent a lot of the chromatic and spherical aberration issues to make this lens really clear and very sharp. When you pick up this lens, it does feel quite substantial. Now this of course is a Leica design lens and it's a full metal construction. There are a lot of lens elements in it. We're talking about 17 lens elements in 12 groups and it has a beautiful smooth nine blade aperture diaphragm as well. They also have this lens weather sealed and so in order to have all of this in one lens, it's gonna be a bit heavier. It's 690 grams to be exact and on a body like this, the G9, it does feel okay, but on some of the smaller Panasonic Lumix bodies, it might feel like it's weighing you down a little bit. So I'm shooting wildflowers or something like this. It's nice to have that 28 centimeter minimum focusing distance. You can get fairly close to your subject. Now what I like even more for shooting wildflowers is being able to switch easily into a manual focus option. And Panasonic has made this really nice with a very sexy focusing clutch. Even if everything else sucked about this lens, this is such a nice feature. When I first got my hands on this lens, I could tell that it was a very video centric lens. First thing I noticed was a clickless aperture and this is great. If I want to change my exposure during video, it's smooth and seamless. It's not these increments that kind of step down. The other thing I love is this lens as you zoom from 10 to 25 does not extend very far at all and it keeps your center of balance on the camera very even. So if you are a gimbal user, depending on focal length you're going to have to use, you don't need to worry about rebalancing your gimbal. Putting this lens into manual focus is very easy. Simply grab the focusing ring and pull the clutch towards the camera and it reveals this gorgeous scale, both in feet and in meters. Now it has a great linear feel as you move from in to maximum, but the ring continues to turn. So if you're a follow focus operator, that's not ideal. Videographers are also gonna love the fact that this lens has very minimal breathing. I think it's really clear that videographers are or should be really excited about this lens. Now, one of the reasons is if you were looking at this kind of focal range, you've probably already looked at, say, the 18 to 35 millimeter Sigma Art lens paired with a Metabones adapter. Now, that's an APS-C lens, and when you're adapting it, there are some problems. One of them is autofocus. The autofocus with that combination is absolutely unusable, and we actually manually focus everything, and that's what Brendan's doing right now, but I know he wants to get his hands on this lens because Autofocus is actually usable. This lens is able to have a 240 frame per second focusing drive. It's very smooth, it's very fast, and very accurate. Another thing is that this lens is pretty close in terms of focal range, as well as light gathering capability. It's not exact, you still get a little bit more out of the Sigma, but this lens is slightly wider on the wide end. So this lens is a premium lens, both in its build quality, but also in its optical quality. This is probably one of the best micro four third lenses that I've ever used in terms of sharpness, in terms of background blur. I'm really enjoying this lens. When shooting this lens, you have to keep in mind it is not a stabilized lens. Now, thankfully, most of Panasonic bodies feature in-body image stabilization. That's going to help you out there. Now, it is a fully weather sealed lens and it is tested to minus 10 degrees Celsius. Now, walking around with this lens, it does seem sort of a bigger, heavier lens on a GH5 like this, but I'm finding it really no problem at all. In fact, I have to keep telling myself, this is actually a 77 millimeter filter thread on here. It's not that bad at all. This allows me to put ND filters on, which is gonna be very handy for shooting waterfalls like this. 
So Dave, I have to say that I think in this full free, medium format, bigger, better world, it's really nice to see such a premium lens released from Micro Four Thirds. Yeah, if we had any doubts that Panasonic was gonna like abandon their Micro Four Thirds system, this lens proves everybody wrong. Mm -hmm. It is a gorgeous lens in so many different ways. Uh, I love the build quality. You can tell that it's premium right from the get-go. Yeah, it's truly like a Leica design lens. It's metal construction. Everything is really slick and gorgeous about it. And I think it's really smart that they've come out with a video centric lens because I think that's where Panasonic Micro Four Thirds really shines. I mean, that's what we're still using. We're using GH5 bodies for most of our video productions. Yeah, so I mean, now we can get rid of the adapter. Now we think we might have our potentially our new lens. We've got to talk to Brendan about this. <laughs> yeah, I would say the only thing is like if you're shooting GH5S, again, it's not image stabilized for that and it doesn't work that great with follow focus but otherwise this is a really solid video option that could replace some other lenses in your bag. Yeah I think if you are a serious videographer you're gonna fall in love with this lens. The bright aperture, the versatility of the focus and the clickless aperture this is gonna be a lens that you sort of live with like it just never leaves your camera. Yeah, and of course for still photographers, it's a really nice focal range too. When you look at it, it's a 20 to 50 millimeter lens at 1.7, so that replaces your 20, 24, 28, 35, and a 50. That's five prime lenses that you can replace with a single lens. That's really nice. Yeah, and if you like those old mechanical lenses with the really smooth focusing, I think you're gonna really enjoy the feel of this lens as well. Yeah, so make sure you leave comments down below. Yeah, let us know what you think about this lens, and if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. And make sure you follow us both on Instagram. And hit that notification bell so we can catch you again really soon. <laughs>